KSI's drama over his new song has escalated, with him nearly crying during meltdowns. Even the sidemen called him out on his behaviour, which only added to the chaos. He's also copyright striking several creators reacting to his new song, and with the ongoing issues around Lunchly, the Lunchables ripoff, it's safe to say we are in the shit of it. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Jerry and Curtis show on day 28 of KSI soaking his tears in his bandana. Now, if you aren't aware of what's been happening, you've probably been living under a fucking rock, which now that I think about it, actually might be the best place to hide. Since KSI has been targeting every single person with a negative opinion about his Disney World song and his chemically produced ass product. I don't want to give you too much of a backstory because a lot of you probably already witnessed this drama unfold. KSI, Logan Paul and Mr. Beast collaborated together to release a product known as Lunchly, which by by the way, if you didn't know, it's just a Lunchables rip-off. A rip-off which is marketed towards children. And there's been a whole lot of a hell amount of drama surrounding the situation. One of their unique selling points, ladies and gentlemen, is that apparently Lunchly has less calories than Lunchables. Wow, less calories. What a hidden gem they found. Why didn't I fucking think of that? Because we all know, right, that children are actively trying to go on diets and actively trying to lose fucking I mean, it's not as if children are in the middle of a development process and need energy. But this is where, ladies and gentlemen, KSI truly displayed his knowledge, strength, and integrity by having a fucking meltdown on Twitter. Dan TDM tweeted, what, what happened to YouTubers, man? I, ca I can't not say anything anymore. This is selling stuff for the sake of making money. Simple. How does this benefit their fans? This is selling crap to kids who don't know better than to trust the people who are selling it to them. Do better. And this was their announcement photo. Yeah, K KSI's casually taking a shit in that picture. But this truly sent KSI into a frenzy that the blog hasn't fucking stopped crying since. He released his new shit ass song around the same time. I'm, I'm sure you've heard it. From the screen to the ring to the pen to the king. Where's my crown? That's my. Crown's your KSI. It's fucking my crown, KSI. It ain't yours, pal. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds like some sort of Disney track. People have been shredding in for weeks about it now, and it's become some sort of internet meme. But it's actually made my life a lot better, ladies and gentlemen, because my grandma got out of bed for the first time yesterday after being paralyzed her whole life just to turn the song off. And people hated this song so much that a comment got more likes than his actual music video. And he's in denial. He can't understand why he's getting so much fucking hate. Well, I don't know, KSI. Maybe because you collabed with two of the most controversial creators on the platform, you donut. KSI got ratioed by a hate comment than his own music video. <laughs> Generational haters everywhere. I'm so tired of it at this point. Just leave me alone. Oh my fucking god, he deleted the tweet. I can't be asked. Why does everyone hate me? <laughs> I just can't understand what happened to KSI. I mean, I'm from the UK. I grew up watching creators like KSI. Well, that's a lie. I didn't really watch KSI growing up. I actually watched Dan TDM, funny enough. He used to seem like such a calm dude that just loved making videos. Now is. His fucking head is just massive. And his ability to handle criticism is next to nothing. He's still fucking tweeting about Dan TDM until this day. Like, this is how fickle this man's ego is. To be fair, though, KSI, it was a good call to portray yourself as an ice sculpture in your music video. Because you start fucking melting when you can't take the heat. It's probably the only good thing about KSI's music video. Well, and this bit as well. KSI seems to be enjoying another poo. But as I said, this man's ego is so fickle that Dan TDM said one thing a couple of weeks ago, and now he can't keep his fucking cake all shut. Like, Dan TDM tweeted out that he was living the dream with his family and kids and then KSI tweeted out he was living the dream. Living the dream with his... with his airless f***ing cats. Yeah, Logan Paul is living the dream also. He recently welcomed his new baby into the world. This is them in the delivery room. Oh, how wonderful and cute. Oh, this is so wholesome, guys. I, I, hang on a f***ing second. Surely not. Is he promoting lunch, Liam Prime in the delivery room of his new child? Oh, f***. Adorable. He plugged his product before his baby's birth. Clearly shows where his priority lies. Very, very family oriented man he is. Yeah, but you do know, Logan, right, that, that when you die, you, you can't take any of this with you. Only the experiences. So, I hope this was fing worth it. Literally, only yesterday, as of recording today's video, KSI even called out Spider Man. He's basically just calling out anybody he feels like at this point. But anyway, he called out Tom Holland as well for releasing a non alcoholic beer. Keeping in mind, Tom Holland hasn't said a single word about KSI's Lunchly or his new song. He tweeted out, What happened to actors, man? I cannot say anything anymore. This is selling stuff for the sake of making money. Simple. How does this benefit their fa. Yeah, it's just basically the same thing Dan TDM said about Lunchly. We're still on the Dan TDM thing. He's like an obsessed that just won't 
won't let go. Surprised he hasn't called out Dan TDM for a boxing match yet. The people weren't very happy about KSI calling out Tom Holland. There's no way you're using a recovering alcoholic and his passion project of offering a non-alcoholic alternatives to other struggling alcoholics to justify a Lunchables dupe. Lol. My brother in Christ. He's marketing this to adults. You know, people who can make their own decisions. You're selling a glorified Lunchable. What? All your fans and fuck you. Guys, he's clearly upset, all right? We shouldn't push him too hard, or you could be his next victim for his 28-day fucking run. But some very well-known creators have spoken out against KSI's songs and his Lunchly product. KSI's label's also been striking down creators' videos that is reacting to his new music. And also, his own friends have called him out for being petty and immature. And we are going to take a look at all that stuff, but PewDiePie actually responded, and he's spitting straight facts. But I do want to say also, if you want to join the channel memberships, you can watch this video uncensored with zero fuck. Ads. I also, on occasion, sometimes release the videos early for the members as well, which is pretty cool. Now let's get into the PewDiePie response. Opinion on Lunchly. Yeah, I only found out about it yesterday. Like, it, you can tell that none of them are uh, parents. Because <laughs> you should not feed your kids that garbage. Like, what the f***? <laughs> like, that meal is so tiny. It looks like it's enough for Bjorn, maybe. And he's one year and a half. Like, uh, no. Who's it for? I don't get it. Is it a snack? Is it a meal? I'd assume it's a lunch meal because of lunch late kind of in the name. But I mean, the meal proportions really isn't that much. A nine-week-year-old fetus could consume that and still be fucking hungry. Not to mention it's just processed garbage. Not saying Lunchables isn't because, of course, it's all processed. But if you really care about your child's nutrition, I probably wouldn't feed them this shit, to be honest with you. And then someone hopped on the live stream and asked PewDiePie about KSI's new music video. Listen to KSI's songs? No. He took away my greatest video of all time. Now I'm mad about it again. My car video all started because of KSI's f***ing music. Because KSI had to go and have a music career. It's all his fault. Now he played himself with this. I should sing about that. I should sing about copyright striking people. I mean, am I really surprised that KSI is striking people down reacting to his music video? Mm, I don't know, not really. So I sat to see, ladies and gentlemen, that the only reason KSI is where he is today is because of the fans and because of YouTube. And now he's turning his back on people and using YouTube's copyright system against them. I mean, Ludwig literally tweeted out, my entire live stream is no longer viewable because I listened to KSI's song and it not only got demonetized, but it was blocked in every country. What I find really strange about that is that Vertical Brain tweeted this out. If you want to use our music in your YouTube videos or anything else, go ahead. We ain't on that copyright bullshit or that claiming bullshit. We're out here letting everybody eat good. This is a new age. <laughs> We're fully independent, so we make the rules. Enjoy the album. And then someone who actually reacted to KSI's music video tweeted this out. KSI unblocked my reaction, mate. I loved the song. I thought we was cool, gang. That's the label. Guys, it wasn't me. I, I can't take accountability, guys. Guys, it's not me. It's it's the label. <laughs> See, you can't handle criticism and you also can't take accountability. You absolute f***ing coward. I mean, what happened to the new age, KSI? What happened? <laughs> it's not as if it's as easy as reaching out to your label and just asking them to remove the copyright claims. R right? He's gone on Britain's Got Talent as well as one of the judges. Judging people's talent? Not gonna say too much about that. You, you can make your own opinions. But Britain's Got Talent is practically a version of Americans Got Talent. It's pretty much exactly the same thing. But he's also been having a total meltdown as well, what I can only assume was on the Sidemen podcast when one of his employees called his song funny. Yeah, my guy was pissed for his employee giving him a f***ing positive opinion. I think it's a good catchy song. I and people it. just want to take the piss because I went at uh, the Lord Saviour Dan. Do you not think that you couldn't accidentally have made a funny song? Well, I wasn't trying to make a funny song. You weren't song. trying to, I was you literally trying did. to make a song about my life. But is the song funny outside of the context. It's not funny! No, no, I'm <laughs> saying... It's funny! No, no. Is my life no, funny, bro? No, no, no I'm no, saying, no, if you no. take Dan TDM and Lunchly out of this conversation, you just release a song, I don't think this would have happened just because of the song. 100%. Nicky like 30 loves it. Oh. Wait, out of all the people to like honestly, it, fantastic. He literally, respectfully, that, that is that kind of target audience of the song. <laughs> is uh, my no, life funny, bro? No. Yeah, yeah, KFSI, it, it's funny. Hilarious. Why the f is he so angry though? It's not as if the employee said it was a terrible song and that he didn't like it. He just said you might have accidentally made a funny song. And then, well, he fucking shit his diaper, didn't he? And for any of you that were there like 10 years ago during the prime times of YouTube, like when KSI actually made funny videos, Syndicate was doing his zombie speed runs, Captain Sparkles was posting his Minecraft series. <laughs> Genuinely, what happened to KSI? Like, he, he, he didn't used to be this much of a cunt. But you know what they say, money changes people, so that's probably what it fucking is, isn't it? But it's pretty obvious to me anyway, at least, that KSI is obviously running all this up just for some rage bait content. I mean, that's pretty obvious just by this clip alone. <laughs> Stay mad, Dan TDM fans. Womp womp. 
It's very obvious that he just wants to get a reaction out of people because it's just pushing his music forward. And it was only 10 minutes ago where this guy tweeted a video literally laughing about the fact his music video got into the top 10. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> thick of it is now my ninth top 10 single. <laughs> so to all the haters, ha <laughs> ha! Womp womp! <laughs> Stay mad! <laughs> Uh, to everyone who's been supporting the song, uh, to all my fans, thank you guys so much. Uh, you guys have been amazing. Only this idiot is delusional enough to think this is a good thing. Playing your song because it's horrible isn't the same as it being good, lol. KSI's music is dog shit. His producer should never make music again. Embarrassing. Yeah, the truth is, KSI, nobody cares as much as you do, and we're all just sitting here pointing and laughing at you. Dan TDM really doesn't give a shit about what you're doing or what you have to say. He's probably also just laughing behind his computer screen and then going to spend time with his family. Like, honestly, KSI, you're just washed at this point, pal. Not to mention, also, you uploaded a video titled Dan TDM responded. We fucking didn't respond again. It's just rage bait. He's just trying to get people to click. I no, sorry. I can't believe Opera, the actual company, tweeted this out and have created a feature that automatically mutes your audio if you accidentally play KSI's new song. Like that is generational hatred right there, man. I mean, I've always been a fan of Google Chrome, and I will still be using Google Chrome till I die. But I used to use Opera as well, and then I realized how trash the browser was. Like, am I wrong in saying, why are you getting involved? I mean, bro's getting triggered about a browser. <laughs> If you actually look at Opera GX's Twitter, it's literally just like a meme account. They're just memeing on everybody. KSI took this fucking personally. <laughs> That's pretty funny though, to have a feature that when you play KSI's new song, it just moots automatically. That is fucking hilarious. I'm a big fan of that tweet. I that is actually funny. And then there's just him, the angry little man who can't take a joke. The amount of satisfaction I got seeing this video. <sighs> what a fucking loser. What a loser the amount of satisfaction what is wrong with you you're happy seeing me what well, angry and frustrated and pissed off that that gives you satisfaction what no man you need to look at yourself in the mirror yeah i know ksi how, how fucking sad do you have to be to laugh at somebody's downfall not as if you've ever done that before yourself have you? you literally have done the same thing to several people this video right here literally reacting to logan paul's end of year video where he's just laughing at logan paul crying why is he crying? <laughs> what a fucking pussy. <laughs> That's why I think, KSI, we're entitled to laugh at you because you're acting like a fucking pussy right now. But of course, KSI, it's alright for you to do it to people, but it's not okay for people to do it to you. For a man with a forehead that large, you surely don't have a lot of brains, do you? <laughs> Jake Paul's downfall is so funny. <laughs> Are you laughing at my music downfall? Well, you can't do that. Uh, reality check, KSI. Yeah, we fucking can. <laughs> Lunchly is that? What is that? Hot tour podcast. <laughs> wow, my song, Prime. Wow, this guy is living his best fucking life, man. That is heaven. But I definitely prefer the stackums to the pizza. I feel like the pizza's too messy. Maybe a kid will like that. Just, you know, having like tomato sauce all over their mouth and stuff. But for me, having the turkey and the cheese and just stacking them together. Sorry, did KSI just say that this guy's living his best life? Eating a lunch late, drinking Prime, listening to KSI's new music video, and watching the Hawk Tour podcast. Sounds like my worst fucking nightmare. Are, are, are we in hell right now? Because I imagine this is what hell would look like. All they serve down there in hell is lunch late and Prime. I don't think KSI realizes he's being mean on right now like this is a fucking meme ksi it's it's not a compliment pal <laughs> and also ksi mentioned that he prefers the stackums to the pizza you you you, you can eat lunch like grown ass man i thought it was meant to be for children <laughs> i can't say the last time i ate lunchables i probably never will again i mean if i'm gonna eat them at any point it would just be for a snack i, I, I refuse to believe this man eats lunch like, like <laughs> really you're a multi-millionaire with a private chef and you're telling me that you're sitting on your ass eating lunch lease. speaking of lunch i was scrolling on tiktok the other day and i found this for old thing. Yeah, that's some sort of asbestos mold in the cheese. KSI and Mr. Beast and Logan Paul are shipping out lunchly with f***ing mold in it. And your kids are consuming it. Clearly, all they really care about in this occasion is money. I mean, that goes without saying. That's pretty obvious. And I feel like I say this man's name every single time on this channel, but <laughs> August the Duck posted a video eating the lunchly and it didn't look that appetizing. August the Duck, wanna collab? I just, you know, I'm, I'm a cool guy. With that said, ladies and gentlemen, comment down below, let me know your thoughts. Also, join the channel memberships if you wanna watch this video uncensored with zero ads and check out my other videos. I'm sure you'll enjoy these ones if you enjoyed this one. This is a bit more of an informational one. I'm a bit more of a, a bit more unhinged in these ones. <laughs>